Seagrove, North Carolina, of course, is known for its pottery, and the Owen family is one big reason why. Ben Owen III is joining me now, and look at this. You brought your kick wheel. I did. Thank you, Valanda, for the opportunity to be able to show you a little bit Absolutely. about this. Absolutely. Tell me about this instrument. Well, this kick wheel is a kind of a reproduction of an older style, English style kick wheel that potters would use before they had electricity and and it was just a, a way of them being able to propel and, and shape the pottery on the potter's wheel. Okay. So Let me it, see how you shape it. Sure, that. yeah. So I've got a bowl of clay here. This is some of the clay that we, we dig locally in the area and we uh, make a lot of our pottery. Uh, and that's really one of the main drawing cards for uh, our family when they moved here in the late 1700s, early 1800s. Uh, they found the clay in the area and also the fertile farmland. So from there they were able to take and use this easily accessible mater material and then be able to shape and form many utilitarian type vessels and things they needed around the home. So pottery goes way back in your family. Tell me about it. It does. Uh, what we've traced back, uh, several families moved to the upper part of Moore County and uh, Chatham, Randolph, Montgomery County area. So it's kind of like uh, several corners there. And they moved there because of the clay, the soil, but also just out of survival and uh, just everyday life, they would take and make things for neighbors that may be a weaver or a basket maker and they would barter and trade and help each other in that way aside from being a farmer. Mm -hmm. But then over the t over time the transition came about where you know more industrial revolution uh, affected more of the type of pottery and other types of containers that people would buy. Yeah. So local potters really couldn't compete with that so much. They had to really go and be able to you know do something else or go work in textiles or other occupations. But the potters that did hold on and, and continue working in it, they began to think outside the box and they wanted to make things that were more ornamental, more decorative, more with colorful glazes and some of the examples I brought yeah. today. Let's talk about these examples. This is something that your great-grandfather made? Yeah, my great-grandfather made the jug and then the pie plate there also. Right here? And, um, so he was a potter out of necessity, but the changing point was with my grandfather, Ben Owen Sr., and his work, he was influenced by uh, outside influences, more of the colorful glazes and like designs from the Orient, uh, other styles from Middle Eastern or Mesopotamian or even other early European influences too. And so through that, I was able to learn from my grandfather after he spent a whole career making pottery uh, and then just learning a lot about the history of it and how it's been so much an integral part of our life. You've got some pretty big clients. Just name drop a few of them for me. <laughs> Well, I've been very blessed and very fortunate to make work for a lot of different people from James Taylor to uh, more specifically like Arnold Palmer when he turned 80 years old. I made a special piece for him for his birthday for some folks that know him really well and uh, Elton John, uh, Elizabeth Taylor and uh, just lots of different folks like that out there that I've had a great opportunity to make some work or a special piece for them. I think one of the cool things about your work is it's individual. Everyone made individually. It's not some mass produced thing. So if you're sitting at a table having dinner with someone and perhaps they're using your pottery, every plate, every cup, they might look a little different. They do and I think that's what is really great about pottery and, and the history of pottery and what's going on in our area today. There are over 80 potters in our area in the Seagrove area just north about a little over half an hour away from the Pinehurst area mm -hmm. and we've been able to preserve that history and the culture of it and build on that foundation that our forefathers built and identity with pottery. Some of the earliest things and styles that were made were because of people coming to visit the Pinehurst area. They would come here and play golf and their spouse yeah. would want to go up and you know, And check out some pottery. shopping. Ben, yeah. this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.